in this video we are going to see how to overall uh, main engine puncture valve for man bmw mc series so this is the puncture valve which we had removed for overhauling so we have to dismantle this puncture valve first so first thing what we need to do is you have to clean the body so the body usually will be having a lot of uh, impurities so all those uh, carbon deposits should be removed by means of uh, pneumatic tool or you can use racks now i'm using a buffing machine so that all the carbon deposits over the body will be completely removed and always use uh, safety precaution while using any pneumatic tools use correct size of spanner and now we have to open the puncture valve flange bolts and remove the flange so when you are removing the flange please be very careful sometime the puncture valve may fly out because of the spring pressure once the flange is removed secure the bolts safely so this is the puncture valve keep it separately and then uh, remove the spring usually spring will come easily but if it in case if it get stuck use a small screwdriver just give a tap it will come out so next all we need to do is you have to clean the puncture valve chamber using any kind of uh, screwdriver or you can use any sharp objects to remove the carbon deposits so ensure uh, all the carbon deposits has been removed you can see the amount of carbon which had been removed you can use buffing machine inside the puncture valve chamber so that the chamber liner will also be completely cleaned so this cleaning should be done very carefully because uh, this cleaning routines will be carried out once in 8000 hours so you have to ensure the job is done properly and religiously so i'm using a sharp welding rod to remove the tool remove the carbon deposits and you can see i am removing it you have to be little bit uh, patient to remove all this because uh, all this small small deposits is not uh, easy to clean you have to be very very patient to clean it so i am using the buffing machine and next uh, i apply some diesel oil inside the puncture valve chamber and with the help of clean rags i clean the puncture valve assembly area so again i use the sharp uh, rod to clean it so once that is done blow air inside the chamber so whatever uh, deposits will be out so just blow air so whenever you blow air ensure you are wearing your safety goggles because this impurities was so small that it can even fly out and injure give injury to your eyes so next is we have to clean the puncture valve use diesel oil clean it and with the help of buffing machine remove the carbon deposits on the puncture valve so next is uh, we have to change clean the o-ring of puncture valve body so i had removed the o-ring we have to clean the o-ring seating area this o-ring should also be renewed while you are uh, replacing a puncture valve and fuel pump 
so again uh, clean it with the help of uh, buffing machine completely so after cleaning it you can see the body uh, inside body again use the help of rags clean it nicely so that uh, no impurities should be deposited over there with the help of diesel clean the area and after cleaning the area with the diesel blow air to remove the impurities you can see a small hole uh, this is the telltale school telltale hole this should be free of obstacles you can see the carbon deposits inside this telltale hole so while doing overhauling this telltale hole should be clean should made free you can see it's a very 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 small hole you have to ensure this is this passage is free use a sharp edge rod and clean the hole so once the cleaning is done blow some air and then ensure the passage is clear you have to be very careful eh, when you are doing this cleaning because uh, mostly what happened is uh, when during overhauling of puncture wall people miss out to clean this telltale holes which is uh, not okay during overhauling so whenever you do uh, overhauling ensure these telltale holes have been cleaned and the passage is free for oil flow okay now i cleaned it you can see i clean i clear the passage blown air and ensure there is no obstacles in the telltale hole area so okay so this is done so next thing is uh, we have to change the in we have to renew the seal rings for uh, puncture valve so so okay. after cleaning the puncture valve completely then it's time to box up so first um, ensure the bowls has been buffed use always uh, proper pp while working with buffing machines or any pneumatic tool so that uh, you can prevent accidents and injury so all the bowls should be buffed buffed enough to ensure uh, there is no deposits no dirt on way of bowl thread so once the bowls has been done then it's time to clean the spring so in case in this spring all you need to do is you have to remove the carbon deposits and then you have to measure the free length of the spring just compare the height of the spring with the original spring check for any damages that's all if everything is okay you can use the same spring so cleaning is being carried out for the spring so once the cleaning is done whatever i said like measuring of free length inspection visual inspection all these things should be done and cleaning of the spring should be carried out so after cleaning this spring you can box it up and uh, you have to ensure the spring intermediate area has been fully free of carbon deposit because uh, if this uh, if there is any leakage of fuel oil this spring all the oil will come and get deposited and get dried up so all those uh, dry fuel oil should be removed so that is what i am doing i am using a sharp edge rod to remove all the fuel oil deposits so or uh, once which is the once this job is done we can box it up
so next we are going to box it up before uh, boxing it up we have to renew the seal rings for the puncture valve so this puncture valve has three seals and five o-rings so these are the stem o-rings each this stem have two grooves and each groove have two o-rings and uh, once the this o-rings can be fitted manually without the help of special tool but the seal ring should be fitted with the help of special tool so you can see here yeah? you can see in the stem there is four o-rings this is the seal ring this is the tool that uh, we are going to use for inserting the seal ring I had already uh, shown a separate video to show how to use this special tool so I don't uh, go for the usage part in detail I can give the link in the description so that uh, if anyone want to know how to use the special tool for uh, installation of uh, seal rings in puncture wall they can uh, please click please click that link and uh, you can see that video of a fuel pump special tool so first seal ring had been fitted and I am fitting the second uh, seal ring which is the bottom seal ring so always whenever you are fitting the seal ring be careful not to damage the seal ring and you have to be very very careful because these seal rings are limited available on board ship so stem seal rings and o-rings has been fixed so once that is fixed you can use the compression tool over it and just uh, give you a compression of the seal rings to ensure the elongation is equal for both the seal rings so next is piston seal ring and o-ring renewal again uh, first fix the o-ring after fix o-ring as i said earlier you can use uh, manually no need of any special tool so yeah so o-ring has been fitted and next is the seal ring for fitting the seal ring you need to use the special tool so just compress it press it and fix the seal ring o-ring both are in place after fixing it just use the compression tool just give a compression over it okay so we are done with the installation of seal rings for puncture valve next is we have to install the puncture valve in place so okay so first uh, before uh, starting assembling the puncture valve first fix the fix the spring in place apply some lube oil on the liner surface so that uh, yeah I am fix applying some kind of lube oil so lube oil in place and next is you have to fix the puncture valve puncture valve while fitting you have to be very very careful if you press in a wrong way you can damage the seal rings of the puncture valve so you have to be very very nice in fitting the puncture valve just give you a press that's all it should be a straight press you cannot uh, stop in between just give you a press that's all the puncture valve is in place next you renew the o-ring for the flat you renew the gasket for the flange and then fix the flange cover this is a 
gasket gasket is renewed and uh, fix the flange so as i always say whenever you use a bolt apply some anti seizure so four bolts buffed ready new flange uh, o-rings so that's all it's in place fit all the four uh, bolts tighten it and that's all this is how you have to dismantle a puncture well inspect puncture well clean the puncture well and uh, assemble the puncture well properly so always uh, ensure you are having instruction manual as a guidance this video can help you to know how to do the overall of puncture valve of man bnw mc engines so i believe this video must have given you some information regarding puncture valve overall thanks for watching thank you all guys keep supporting